This is Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall see dream, so dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids. In those days will I pour out my spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who rule well and as always we give peace and salutations into the hopeful elect that's scattered abroad. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Shai, man, because I just woke up from a vivid dream, man. You know, I just saw a brother, you know, you know, that was posting on uh Elder Manat Zappa's page. He was telling a a vision, you know, he had you know, about chariots. Me, this is, you know, you know, he saw chariots and hundreds of chariots and, you know, and, you know, he saw how shy. It's beautiful, man. But my dream, it was, it was also beautiful because I saw myself with spiritual powers, man. And this is what my dream was about. You know, I don't remember too much details, but I can, but I can vision, you know, some of the things that I was doing. You know, the abilities that I had, man. It was so fucking, excuse my language, but, oh, man, it was fucking beautiful. You know, I don't, and, you know, I'm not that type of guy that dream dreams, man. Sometimes I have, you know, visions and some, sometimes I don't, man. But when I do, you know, sometimes I can see them very clearly and sometimes I can't. But, man, spiritual powers is coming to the elect, man. And I saw myself with spiritual powers. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the dream. Now, I'm going to describe it the best way I knew how because, like I say, I can see it very, I could see some of the things I was doing. But it was, like, was kind of in a blur, but, you know, I'm going to describe it the best way I know how, man. But it was beautiful what I was doing. So it, it started off, okay, I don't know where I was, I was in some type of water or something, and you know, I was in some water, I don't know where the hell I was, man, but it was like, I was drowning or something, okay, and it was like something was coming at me, but then, you know, it was like, I was praying to Yahweh Bashin Yosha, I was like, Yahweh Bashin Yosha. And I called on that name, and all of a sudden, something happened, man. It's like I had this ability, and I was, you know, like I could just snap the water, and all of a sudden, it, boom, we just disappeared. And, and I was safe. And I was, like, sitting on some type of, uh, you know, like, concrete, you know, I was safe. And nothing could hurt me. But then I get up. And it changes, okay? And it it was like some building that was behind me. And I go inside and it was like it was like some people inside. Okay. And <laughs> I'm gonna try to describe this the best way I know how, man, because it, it was kinda it was kind of visual it wasn't as clear as I wanted it to be, but I'm gonna describe it the best way I know how, man. But it, it, and I walked up to some type of computer or something and you know and it was this person you know asked me what I was doing and I was like you know I'm gonna tell what you you know what your true intentions are or something some to that sort and I'm gonna make this you know this computer tell on you and what you're doing what your true intentions are or something some to that sort and then I walk out, and some some lady, was, this little person was following me, or something. I don't know. Somebody was with me. And as I was walking, I was, you know, heard the computer start talking, and it was telling on the person that was doing some stuff. I don't know. But as I turned to the right, okay, and as I look, I look back, and there was people just walking out, man. It was people walking out. I don't know what the hell was going on in the back of the scene. But as I looked forward, 
there was this truck and it was this Edomite on the inner like he had a microphone in his hand. I guess he was like pointing out, like telling the people, I guess, you know, they were coming to get me or something. And he like he was telling them where my location was, you know. And as his, and as he he drove off, I put my hands up and I made his truck crash. <laughs> it was weird, man, because I made his truck crash. I'm serious. I made this guy truck flip over. And I was like, what the hell? That was crazy. You know, it was crazy. I made his truck, I don't know if I made his truck crash. I looked like I made his truck flip over or crash into some other cars or something or trucks or something. Because it was a building, because it was like a little small building there. And I made him, cr and I made him crash into that, into that, um, <laughs> to this building or something, man. And as I turned to my left, I was walking, and I was walking along, you know, those kind of cars passing by me, you know. And as I got close, there was some female, there was a female, you know, there was a female standing there, and... You know, she kind of looked like she was, she was hurt or something. I couldn't quite look at her face, but she looked like she was hurt or something. And then I touched her face. I don't know. I, I guess I was, I guess I was like, I was healing her or something, you know. And then all of a sudden, like I say, man, this is a crazy dream. But I did see, like, like I say, man, like I say, the dream wasn't as clear as I wanted to be. But man, I could see myself. But I'll tell you what I visualized, man, and what Lord how about seeing how shot showed me. Okay. Then he, it was one Edomite came in where I was standing with the young with the young lady. Okay. And then he started sh he had this gun in his hand. And I was like, oh shit. What the fuck? And then he started shooting at me, and as he was shooting at me, nothing was happening. It's like these bullets, they was going somewhere. I mean, they felt like they were hitting my hands, but they weren't hurting my hands at all. You know, they were hitting my hands. I could feel it hitting my hands, but these bullets weren't, they weren't hurting me at all, man. And <laughs> so, and that's, that's pretty much it, the dream I saw, and, and I woke up. So, let me describe it to you. So, I looked like I had spiritual powers. I had the ability to do some things. I had the ability to make people tell on themselves. I had the ability to make vehicles crash in the buildings. I had the ability to stop bullets. To whisk these bullets away, sort of like. And I also, you know, you know I had the ability to... <laughs> make water disappear or something i don't know it's, it's like it was weird but i pretty much saw myself with spiritual powers man and it was awesome man all praises to yahweh by shem yahweh shai so man like i say the lord is going to great his men with spiritual powers man spiritual powers are coming i'm telling you man miraculous things are about to start happening on this earth Miraculous things, beautiful things, and I got brothers having dreams about seeing chariots. Me, I had a dream about having spiritual powers. Man, it was beautiful. So the Lord Yah by Shem Yah Shai is showing his his presence, man. Okay, I'm gonna read Joel two and twenty eight and twenty nine again. Okay, and then I'm gonna get maybe maybe one more scripture, and then I'm gonna close it out. Okay. Lord when I pray this lesson was edifying and I hope it give you brothers and you young sisters out there, you some sisters, sisters that follow the men of the Lord hope, man, because hey, no matter what the situation might we might be in or what type of danger we may be in, man, the Lord is going to protect his men. He's going to protect his elect. No matter what. He's going to protect his elect through certain dangers. Whatever whatever situation we may be caught up in, he's going to protect his elect. 
All right. So let me read Joel 2 and 10. I mean, yeah, Joel 2 and 28 and 29 again. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids, in those days will I pour out my spirit. So the Lord is pouring out his spirit upon his servants, man, his prophets, and upon all flesh. All right. And again, you ain't got to be in this truth to have visions. You know, there's people that ain't in this truth and they have visions. Okay. Let's get this. I'm close to it anyway. Isaiah 59. And verse 19, because this was what the scripture come in mind. Okay. Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Shai shall lift up a standard against him. So whatever situation we may be in, brothers and sisters, know that the Lord Yahweh Shai Shai got us. Okay. All right. So Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. I just wanted to, you know, tell you about this vision I had. I had a vision of spiritual power, man. It's beautiful. All praises to you. How about seeing your shot, man? So with that, I'm closed out. I gave no praises and honor and glory that's due to you. about Shem, Yao Shai about Shem Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great one's throne with wellness. Always we give peace and citations to the hopeful light. See you with another lesson, song or one. Kwam Yasharang, Shangawam, and Wai Baba Ball. Hey man, we're living in some beautiful times, man. Shangawam.